In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the five most common buyer scenarios my team and I hear from people who are considering moving to the Boise, Idaho area from out of state. We get calls, texts, and emails from people all the time who are really just trying to wrap their heads around what area or usually areas across our booming Treasure Valley would be best for them. So in this video, I am going to lay out the top five scenarios that we hear the most often because you know, considering you clicked on this video, more than likely one, if not several of these commonly asked and very location specific questions will be applicable to you. Real fast, if you find this video helpful, please consider hitting that little subscribe button so we can stay in touch. My very laid back and low pressure team post candid on the ground videos every single week, videos that are really designed to not only tell you, but also show you what living in Idaho is really like. Okay, so let's dive into these five scenarios. First up, we often hear from people who are considering moving to Boise that are very outdoor focused and just thrive on being physically active. They're moving here in large part because they want to live in a place where they can easily enjoy the great outdoors and embrace just an overall active and healthy lifestyle. Now, while really just about every city across the Treasure Valley has a number of options that could fit this bill, if you love the outdoors and are say an avid trail runner or a hiking enthusiast or a mountain biker, well, then there's really nothing like being just a stone's throw from the Boise foothills. So let's pull up a map so I can show you several neighborhoods that are particularly appealing to outdoor enthusiasts. First up, there's the North End, known for its historic district and stately homes and home to both Camel's Back Park and Hull's Gulch, and then being just minutes from miles and miles of trails up in the Boise foothills. Yeah, the North End is definitely a favorite among outdoor lovers. And of course, its proximity to Bogus Basin, which is our local ski resort here, certainly adds to its appeal. And then there is also the East End. This area provides easy access to the extensive Ridge to Rivers trail system. It's perfect for those who want to be close to downtown Boise and also love the idea of having the foothills right in their backyard. Trails like Table Rock are very popular among hikers, bikers, and runners alike. And it's really just a great trail for all skill levels and really people and kiddos of all ages. And then there's the Boise Highlands. Positioned directly north of downtown Boise and adjacent to the foothills, the Highlands offer offers convenient access to a ton of trails. It's also close to the popular Hyde Park area, which is full of charming cafes, boutiques, and shops. And then there's Collister. Nestled between the Boise foothills and the city, the Collister neighborhood offers a quieter, more residential setting with direct, easy trail access. It's often viewed as being ideal for families who want to have immediate access to outdoor activities and all that, but are also looking for more of that suburban, community-centered feel and atmosphere. And then if you're okay being a bit further out from the hustle and bustle of downtown, or maybe you just flat out prefer it that way, we'd want to ensure that you checked out Hidden Springs. And along with Hidden Springs is its sister community, Cartwright Ranch. Cartwright Ranch is where all of the new development up in the Hidden Springs area is currently taking place. Located northwest of downtown, this area is just a haven for many outdoor enthusiasts. It offers its own system of trails, a community farm, tons of open shared community space, and is really just a mecca for those who prioritize and cherish their outdoor time. And then the last neighborhood I want to call out in this video for all of my outdoor lovers out there is Avamore. With hundreds, literally hundreds of miles of trails, Avamore is pretty much in a class of its own. As the largest master plan community in all of Idaho, once built out, Avamore will actually be larger than the entire city of Meridian. And at that point, which is likely 25 or more years down the road, an incredible 70% of the community will remain open shared space. I am going to film a future video just on Avamore alone because, well, there is a lot to share about this incredible and oftentimes overlooked community. So be sure to subscribe so you can see it when it comes out. Okay, so now let's dive into common scenario number two. And this one is for all the growing families out there who are looking to find that perfect family-friendly community. Now, similar to the scenario I just covered, just like there are many, many great fits for outdoor enthusiasts, there are also also just an incredible amount of communities across the Treasure Valley that are wonderful fits for families. But to keep this video from turning into, I don't know, the never ending video, <laughs> here are a few areas that seem to very frequently resonate and or just pretty much captivate many families that we work with. So those who are looking for that community vibe and feel. First, located just west of Boise is the town of Meridian. And Meridian is just hands down a family favorite for many. Let's first talk about North Meridian, highly regarded for its quality 
city schools and master plan communities, North Meridian provides families with modern amenities, including the village at Meridian for shopping and entertainment, and numerous parks and recreational areas. We filmed a full video tour covering a number of great North Meridian neighborhoods like Paramount, Bridge Tower, Bainbridge, and Spurwing. I'll put the link to that in the description of this video for you to check out. And now let's move to South Meridian, also praised for its low crime rates, fantastic parks and schools, and also its great location. Its close proximity to I-84 means that you can get just about anywhere quickly and easily. And with all of the new developments and great communities, well, the South End of Meridian is a very attractive one for families seeking newer homes and homes that are situated in great master plan neighborhoods that just offer a ton of community amenities and really all the perks. And with its easy access to I-84, like I just mentioned, that can certainly appeal to commuters who work downtown. And then being home to the largest water park in the Northwest, Roaring Springs, is definitely another plus. We also have a video covering South Meridian in which we tour through eight top South Meridian neighborhoods, which I will also link to in the description. And then families also love Eagle. Known for its small town charm, Downtown Eagle features boutiques, shops, restaurants, and neighborhood events that help foster a strong sense of community. It offers a mix of older, character-rich homes, and then also a number of brand new master plan developments with all the bells and whistles. And with its excellent array of both public and private schools and parks like Eagle Island State Park and Gerber Park, it's got a strong pull. I should note here that home prices in Eagle are typically among the highest across the valley, but many residents find that, well, if they can do it, the higher price tag is well worth it. And then of course, we've also got a video tour as well as multiple other videos covering Eagle and all of its incredible neighborhoods. And we'll put that in the description for you to check out. So I could go on and on about this one because, well, there are just really so many great areas for families just to explore across the valley. If this is a key factor for you and your family, we will hone in on a list of communities that would be best for you based on your unique situation. So your family, lifestyle, job, location, budget, hobbies, just really all of those kinds of factors. So jot down our numbers so you can call or text us whenever you're ready to get started. We'd love to connect and just help to ensure that you get started off on the right foot. Now let's talk about scenario number three, and this one is for all the empty nesters and or retired individuals who are seeking out their best Idaho lifestyle. First, there are many 55 plus communities that so many retirees love here across the valley. There's Cadence and Century Farms, which is right here in South Meridian, or the new and incredible Trilogy Valor community out in Cuna, or the terraces out in Harris Ranch in East Boise. There are truly just a lot to discover and explore. Here we are at Trilogy Valor in Cuna, which is a resort inspired life lifestyle community. They've got really, well, they've really got it all. They have multiple pools, including a year round heated pool, a full gym, pickleball courts, a private cafe and bar, a great outfitting rental facility. Oh, and they've also got direct access to the highly regarded Falcon Crest golf course. I need to film a full video just on this community, which I will in the future. But for the purposes of this video, if you're interested in exploring what living in a 55 plus community would be like, just know that there are a large number of them for us to tour you through and for you to consider. That said, very often we hear from retirees or soon to be retirees who just aren't set on the 55 plus community setup, but would instead prefer to live in an area with mixed households, but they also want a neighborhood that's just a bit quieter and of course safe. And then they also usually want easy access to gyms as well as to quality healthcare, shopping and community amenities. So in that case, we often find ourselves checking out areas like Harris Ranch out in East Boise, covering over 1300 acres They've got easy access to both the Greenbelt and to the foothills. And then it's also still very close to downtown Boise while bordering the Barber Pool Conservation Area, which is a 700 acre wildlife refuge that harbors hundreds and hundreds of native species of plants and wildlife. Specific areas within the Harris Ranch community that are often particularly appealing to many retirees include the lofts, these low maintenance condos, which typically come with price tags that are actually lower than many initially anticipate, really allow residents to focus on enjoying all of the best that the east end of Boise offers. So the river, downtown, the foothills, and the greenbelt. And then you are also just a stone's throw from the Idaho Shakespeare Festival, which is, well, just a Boise treasure. 
And then to the west of Boise, many, many retirees find that they absolutely love Meridian. With its quieter, more laid back, but still active vibe and community feel, Meridian just resonates with many. And then with so much new development taking place, South Meridian in particular often appeals to retirees who would like to buy a newer home opposed to an older home that could potentially require more maintenance. And then add to that all of the shopping and amenities offered nearby, and yep, many retirees find it to just be the perfect fit. Additionally, we have worked with retirees who want to be close by their children and or grandchildren who, as previously noted, very easily might find themselves living in the Meridian area, embracing that suburban lifestyle. And then to the north of Boise, Eagle certainly has its appeal too. With its charming boutiques and the community events like the Eagle Saturday Market, and then being right on the Boise River with multiple golf courses and trails, yeah, many empty nesters and or retirees find Eagle to be a great fit. The legacy community in particular out in Eagle seems to draw a large number of retirees. Legacy is a community that was really designed with active adults in mind, featuring amenities such as a great golf course, swimming pools, tennis courts, and walking paths. The homes, many of which are waterfront, are designed for ease of living and just add to the community which values outdoor activities and social gatherings. And then at one of their main community parks, they have an area that often has rotating food trucks, which of course is very fun and just another great way for residents to connect and socialize. And then a bit further out, many fall in love with the town of Star. Star offers a quieter, rural atmosphere with a growing number of communities geared toward retirees, such as Heron River, Kalina Vista, and Star River Ranch. Star is ideal for those who appreciate a slower pace of life, but still want access to the amenities offered all across the Treasure Valley. And of course, we have a video covering Star too. <laughs> and then of course, there's Garden City. And this one is fun as it often surprises people to discover. Garden City is nestled right along the Boise River and the Greenbelt. Over the past decade, it has really become a hub for artisans, wineries, and breweries. It's a great fit for retirees who are interested in living in a just really culturally vibrant community that also has easy access to walking and biking trails. Following along the river, Garden City is home to many riverfront homes that are just really tucked in and really kind of like hidden gems. All in all, there are a ton of great areas and communities that are perfect for retirees here. If you're looking to find the perfect spot for you, let us know and we would love to help. Now, let's move on to scenario number four. Many people who are moving to Idaho from out of state are hopeful to find a home with great views. Now, when we hear great views, well, that's obviously pretty subjective and really just totally dependent on one's taste. That said, in general, when people ask us about what areas offer the best views here in the Boise area, they are typically referring to or envisioning views of the mountains. So usually of the Boise Mountains with its various peaks, such as Bogus Basin, or of the Waihees, which are located to the southwest across the Boise River Plain. To find the neighborhoods across our valley with the best views of the mountains or foothills, the key really comes down to geographical elevation. In North Boise, areas such as up in the highlands and up on the rim near HP, and then areas close to the foothills are typically going to be good places to start. And then in Meridian, which on the whole is pretty darn flat, the best area for views is arguably in the southern part of Meridian. In South Meridian, there is a ridge that offers many homes located in neighborhoods such as Reflection Ridge, Lavender Heights, and East Ridge, just some pretty awesome views. Or if you're looking for new construction and want to be one of the first in an up and coming community and thus have your choice of some awesome lots, there is Skybreak, which is a brand new community that's currently still in its initial stages. And then if you're okay being just a bit further out and away from the hustle and bustle and your budget permits, Cartwright Ranch, Avamore, and Dry Creek all offer some pretty incredible views. And then of course there's Eagle, which is widely recognized for its focus on scenic beauty and outdoor living. Not only do they have a number of great areas with access to the foothills and great mountain and waterfront views, there is also a rim in Eagle that runs along here that offers just some one-of-a-kind views. Now, of course, these lots alone come at a higher premium, so budget certainly plays a part. Or if your idea of a great view isn't so much about the mountains, but instead you're thinking you'd like to be waterfront, so you're thinking you'd like to have a lake or river view, then we drill down on neighborhoods that border the river or that are situated 
situated around community lakes. And this is yet another thing that surprises many to learn. There are actually a lot of lakes, well, which in my opinion are typically more like glorified large community ponds, but that's subjective on its own, right? <laughs> Anyhow, there are a lot of these kind of properties and so many more than most initially guessed. One of my very favorite communities in Eagle, Two Rivers, is one such neighborhood. In this well-established and gorgeous community, you'll find just an incredible array of waterfront homes. The mature landscaping paired with all the lakes, ponds, streams, and water features is really pretty special. But again, you can really find waterfront living pretty much all across the valley if you know where to look. Here is just a glimpse of some of the neighborhoods that I know offer waterfront living. So yeah, as you can see, you've got some options. And now let's cover scenario number five. So let's talk about homes with some acreage. Now, similar to when someone says, I want a home with a great view, when we hear someone say, I want a home with some acreage, well, we're gonna need a little bit more information because yeah, your idea of some acreage is of course subjective and will likely come down to where you're coming from and therefore what you're comparing it to. He wants the land. Someone moving here from, say, San Francisco who has never had a yard, let alone a flower bed, might be absolutely thrilled with a lot that's a fifth of an acre. Whereas if you're moving here from, say, Eastern Oregon or Central Montana, well, then you might be thinking that anything under five acres just won't work. So that, along with, of course, budget, is obviously going to have an impact on what areas we hone in on for you. For the purposes of this video, let's focus on what we're typically hearing from people moving here from out of state who contact us in the hope of finding some acreage or just a home on a big lot. More often than not, especially if they're wanting to stay within the Treasure Valley, people are looking for one to three acres when they use these terms. For properties in that range, so again, one to three acres, we often find ourselves looking, for the most part, outside of the three main cities that newcomers typically recognize as being a part of Boise. So by those three, I mean Boise, Meridian, and Eagle. Now, that is certainly not to say that properties that fall into that criteria never hit the market. They certainly do, but not as frequently. And when they do, their price tag is going to reflect that. There are several communities such as Dry Creek in Boise and Avamore, which was just recently annexed into the city of Eagle, that have homes on one acre lots. And both of those neighborhoods are incredible. But if you're looking for resale opposed to a new build, then we will likely find ourselves looking outside of those three main cities. First up, we'll likely be cruising out to the west of Eagle to the town of Star. Star is a quickly growing community, but one that still maintains that rural, small town America atmosphere and vibe. Many longtime locals say that Star is today what Eagle was 15 years ago. In Star, you can find larger plots of land, which will allow for abundant gardening, animals, and of course, added privacy. Star is appealing for those who are looking for a quieter lifestyle, but still value access to all of Boise's amenities. And then situated just a bit further west of Star, you'll find Middleton. And Middleton offers even more of a rural setting with agricultural land and spacious plots. It's ideal for those who are looking to engage in more extensive farming or who would just prefer a more secluded and quieter lifestyle. And then to the south of Meridian is the town of Cuna. And Cuna is another option for those who are looking for more land and want a mix of suburban and rural living. Cuna often appeals to those who are looking for larger lots, but also don't wanna to be too far from Boise's services and employment opportunities. And then in the northern tip of the Treasure Valley, you will find the town of Emmett. Emmett is known for its orchards and agricultural farms and ranches. It offers scenic views and larger land plots, which typically also come at more affordable prices. And then last, we would also want to make sure that both Caldwell and Nampa are on your radar. On the western edge of the Treasure Valley, both Caldwell and Nampa typically offer more affordable housing options. And as you go further out and away from the city centers, you'll find more land at more affordable price points. And being closer to I-84, well, that means that both Caldwell and Nampa are significantly easier to get to and or to commute from, which of course has its appeal for multiple reasons. Now, if you are in this scenario where you are thinking about moving to Boise and you just don't know where to live, but you also just aren't quite ready to make that leap to pick up the phone and call us, well, then we have a fantastic and completely free relocation guide that you can download and peruse through at your leisure. I will put a link to that in the description of this video. And then once you've gone through it and you're ready to take that next step, give us a call, shoot us a text. Let's just connect so we can set up an exploratory call to learn everything we need to know about you and whomever it is who's 
coming alongside of you. Once we know a bit about you, we would love to help you hone in and find your perfect spot here in the Treasure Valley. My very low pressure, but also highly professional and proven team are here and ready to help. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.